Hey all, it is Monday, October 23rd, 2017, and I've got something super special to show you, just give you a little introduction and a preview. I found a box, an old wooden box, and inside the box, I found something very special. This is the memoir and scrapbook of a man named Henry Banta. H-E-N-R-Y B-A-N-T-A. He was a glass blower in his trade. Here you see a certificate from the Society of Planners and Builders involved in the first transcontinental telephone line. These are the first installations of lighting in the world. You see, Henry Banta was employed by Thomas Edison. In fact, he grew up playing with his kids. These are some Boy Scouts examining Henry Banta's most vital invention to which Thomas Edison stole from him and gave him no credit. This is Henry Banta. This is his writing. It says he's in Germany. These are probably some of the world renowned glass blowers or people involved with uh, electricity and lighting. Here we go. He says, there's the check, there I am. Also in Germany. Here he is, blowing glass. This was a very, very important trade. Now light bulbs are made by machines and we're getting into LEDs which eh, is good for some things and not so good for others. Light bulbs do have their place. But all original light bulbs were made by hand and blown. Here we have uh, Mr. Moore. He did one of the original lighting companies and there's one of their lighting installations. This is fluorescent tube style lighting. There's Henry with some of the Boy Scouts again. Henry at home. It's a flower, flower shop or a greenhouse. It also has lighting running in it. There's Henry with Interpeller, Hafner, and Ober Obermeyer, Oberzer. These are big guys in the, the whole, these are big, big major players in electricity and telecommunications and lighting. I don't know if you can tell, but there looks to be like a tremendous amount of orbs or something in this picture. But this is lighting installation in the, the chapel at Madison Square Garden. Savoy Hotel. 
the lighting. And the funniest story about this is someone must have paid these kids to do it because right after the lighting was installed, some kids came around with whips and cracked it all. Edison. This is a post office with more lighting, lighting from more lighting company, which Henry was involved with. And he's got articles, all kinds of articles about his experiments. Proclamation of Senior Citizens Week. There's Henry. Glass bars. He worked for Cornell. Man who worked with Edison, now glass bar at Cornell. Ridicule sleepless legend. He gave definite testimony that the guy passed out in the back of his in his couch in the back of his lab all the time. <laughs> And I will, I will, this is just an inter, introduction. I will get into this more. It, I will, I will show you how Henry Banta's invention was absolutely pivotal to developing the tube technology for light bulbs. Here's his patent right here. The original glass to copper seal, which let them, it, let them progress in the invention of developing their tube technology, which he was never credited for. This is an original patent right here. Henry Banta's invention. Stolen by Thomas Edison. Some interesting stuff right here. The vacuum device. These drawings are something special. I don't know what they are, especially this one. I'm not quite that technical, but these are unpublished bits of information. He put this here for a reason. This is the last page. He put this here, he hand drew this. These are unpublished patents and these are very important. I don't understand why they could have to do with free energy. Motors give off as much electricity as they put in. Can we find a way to harness and recirculate that energy? I don't know, but I also have, this is a disc copy of images and further information about Henry Banta that was compiled by uh, my local historian who I had shown this information. Why do I have this? I don't know, but I feel it's important to get it out to you. All right, y'all. Take care. Henry Banta. It's time we get to know him.